Have you ever noticed a strange color or texture in the tissue after blowing your nose? Whether it's snot, mucus, or boogers, it turns out your body's mucus might be trying to tell you something about your health. That simple, seemingly trivial substance could hold clues to your immune system, infections, hydration, and even the onset of a serious illness. So what's really going on with your mucus? And how can it affect your health? Let's dive deep into this often overlooked topic and uncover what your body is really trying to communicate. What is mucus and why does your body produce it? Let's start with the basics. Mucus, also known as snot, is more than just an annoying substance you deal with when you're sick. In fact, your body produces mucus constantly up to a liter a day. It's found all over your body, including your nose, sinuses, and even in your digestive tract. But why does your body produce so much mucus? Well, its main job is to keep things lubricated. Mucus serves as a protective barrier that prevents harmful viruses, bacteria, and particles from entering your body. It's your body's natural defense mechanism, essentially acting as the first line of defense against invaders. While you might not think much about it, that thick feeling of mucus in your nose or throat is doing an important job. It helps protect you from infections, fights inflammation, and keeps your airways clear. So, the next time you feel mucus running down your nose or feel congested, remember that it's actually a good thing your body is just trying to protect itself. Should you blow your nose or let it be? When you feel the urge to blow your nose, the question arises, should you clear out all the mucus? Blowing your nose does help relieve some of that discomfort, but there's a catch. If you blow your nose too often or too forcefully, you could irritate the delicate lining inside your nasal passages, leading to more inflammation. That said, it's okay to blow your nose when you feel the need to clear out some congestion. However, remember that balance is key. If you're blowing your nose constantly, your body could get overwhelmed. But don't worry, your body knows what it's doing. It's fighting off whatever infection is causing that congestion. If you're feeling congested and it's not going away, there are other remedies that can help clear things up. From using a saline spray to getting extra hydration, these tricks can help soothe your nasal passages and make you feel better faster. One important tip, don't forget basic hygiene. Always blow your nose into a tissue and wash your hands afterward. That's essential, especially during cold and flu season when viral particles can easily spread from one person to another. What's really in mucus? Mucus is primarily made of water. Staying hydrated is key to maintaining the right consistency of mucus, so drink plenty of fluids, especially when you're sick. Besides water, mucus also contains mucin cells, enzymes, and infection-fighting cells. Mucin is a protein that helps make mucus thick and sticky, allowing it to trap particles and pathogens. This combination of water, proteins, and immune cells works together to keep your body healthy by protecting it from infections. Why does cold weather make you have more mucus? As winter approaches and the air becomes colder and drier, you might notice more mucus in your nose. That's because your nose is a natural humidifier. It works to moisten the dry air before it reaches your lungs. But when the air is dry, your body has to produce more mucus to coat the inside of your nasal passages. This is why you might notice more mucus or a dripping nose during the winter months. It's just your body's way of keeping things humid and preventing dryness and irritation in your airways. While it can be annoying, the extra mucus is a sign that your body is working to protect you. It's trying to create the right environment for your sinuses and airways to stay healthy and prevent infections from setting in. Is it a cold, allergies, or the flu? Sometimes, it's hard to tell what's really going on when your mucus production increases. Is it a simple cold, or could it be allergies, or even the flu? Let's break down the differences so you can figure out what's happening inside your body. Allergies, if you're dealing with clear mucus and itchy, swollen eyes, it's likely allergies. Allergies tend to cause your body to produce clear, watery mucus. Other common symptoms include sneezing and a scratchy throat. If your symptoms clear up, 
after you take an antihistamine, then allergies are probably the cause. Cold. A cold is a viral infection, and it often leads to more congestion and thicker mucus. If you're feeling mildly feverish, have body aches, or have a sore throat, it's likely a cold. The mucus might start out clear, but as the cold progresses, it can turn yellow or green. Flu. The flu is a more serious viral infection than the common cold. It typically comes with high fever, severe muscle aches, and chills. Mucus might turn yellow or green, and the flu can cause significant fatigue, body aches, and even headaches. If you feel like your symptoms are getting worse, it's time to see a doctor. What does the color of your mucus really mean? Now, let's talk about something you've probably noticed before mucus color. What does it really mean when your mucus changes color? It turns out, your snot can reveal a lot about what's going on inside your body. Clear mucus. This is your body's normal mucus. It's not a sign of any infection, but rather just a healthy lubrication of your sinuses and nasal passages. White mucus. If your mucus starts to turn white, it's usually a sign of mild inflammation. This could mean you're starting to fight off an infection, or it could just be part of your body's natural defense response. White mucus tends to be thicker and stickier than clear mucus. Yellow or green mucus. If your mucus turns yellow or green, it could mean the infection is progressing. The color change is due to the presence of cells your body is using to fight the infection. These cells release chemicals that change the color of the mucus. If it lasts more than a week, you might want to consult a doctor to rule out a bacterial infection. Red or pink mucus. Red or pink mucus indicates that there might be some bleeding in your nasal passages. This is typically due to dryness or irritation especially if you've been blowing your nose frequently. If it's a one-time occurrence, there's usually no reason to worry. But if it continues, you should consider seeing a doctor. Brown mucus. Brown mucus is a sign that dried blood is present. It's usually caused by irritation or dryness in the nose, and while it's typically harmless, you should keep an eye on it. Black mucus. This is the most concerning color. Black mucus could indicate a serious fungal infection. While this is rare, if you notice black mucus, it's important to see a doctor immediately for an evaluation and treatment. When should you see a doctor? Knowing when to seek medical attention is crucial. If your mucus has been thick, yellow, or green for more than a week, it could mean that you have a bacterial infection. Other warning signs to watch for include a high fever that doesn't go away, severe headache or facial pain, swelling around the eyes, difficulty breathing or wheezing, chest congestion or pain. If you experience any of these symptoms, it's time to make an appointment with your doctor. You may need prescription antibiotics or other treatments to clear up an infection. How to manage mucus and congestion. While you're waiting for your body to heal, there are a few things you can do to manage mucus and congestion. Stay hydrated, drinking water, herbal teas, or soups can thin out mucus and help your body heal faster. Use a saline spray. Saline sprays can help keep your nasal passages moist, reduce irritation, and clear out mucus. Try a humidifier. Adding moisture to the air can help your body fight off congestion and soothe irritated tissues in your nose and sinuses. Take decongestants. Over-the-counter decongestants can help relieve swelling in your nasal passages, making it easier to breathe. Rest up. Your immune system needs rest to function properly, so make sure you're getting plenty of sleep and relaxation. Remember, your mucus is an important part of your body's defense system. While it may seem like an annoying inconvenience, it's actually playing a critical role in protecting you from infections and keeping your body healthy. So the next time you catch yourself blowing your nose, take a moment to appreciate the hard work your body is doing to keep you safe. Stay healthy, stay hydrated, and remember to listen to your body. It's always trying to tell you something.